Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Thursday, October the 12th. My name is Barry Anderson, the moderator of your trading room. Any questions for me, this is the email address you can use. Follow this link to get into the trading room. It is a free room. All we ask is that you create a password and that's it. No credit cards, no nothing. And you don't have to be a Trade Ideas subscriber to use the room. Um, I get on them, I usually start around 9 o'clock in the morning. That's when I start to share my screen and I get live on the mic at 9.05. And as a guest, you can post you know, your comments. Obviously, you can't talk, but you can post your comments and interact with other uh, members of the room. We've got some fantastic traders in that room. I'd like to take out a uh, subscription to Trade Ideas. Uh, this is the link you can use. And also in the body of the email, you know that I am going to put in the fact that we have this test drive coming up October 20, October 23rd. Uh, please click on the link and you'll see exactly what it's all about. If you sign up today, you will not have data until October 23rd. And that's for five days, October 23rd to October 28th. That's Monday to Friday inclusive. It will cost you $8.88 and that will give you full access to our program. Everything we have to offer. All right. So, um, what happened today? Not quite as exciting today. You know, the, the little mo the momentum uh, trades, there were some. Uh, they just didn't quite sustain themselves uh, like the last couple of days, but still had some uh, really nice ones and I'll go over them. I do want to talk about a couple. Uh, yesterday, SMSI showed up in that uh, momentum scanner, and I actually decided to take it. I got in at 180. It closed, I guess, down here at 175. Uh, Pre-market, it actually popped up here, but that, that's a little bit uh, misleading because the spread was really uh, bad. I actually s was able to sell some in the pre-market at uh, $2, and then I exited the, uh, the balance at... Uh, 185 down here at 185. So uh, that was sort of interesting. Uh, Zsen was another one that I that I uh, took uh, towards the end of the day. Also decided to hold it. I got in at 110. Uh, pre market got down to 102, and then it popped up here. Thought, all right, maybe we're on the way. And then as it came down, I got out. Um, I'm just actually what I'm right, doing right now. I'm just doing some house cleaning for you to show you what I'm what I'm not in anymore. I'm out of the Sorrento now. Uh, this was my swing from uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, turned out to be just a really really nice trade. Uh, got out the balance at uh, I think it was 340, which was uh, you know I got in a couple of days ago at 235. So completely out of that one. I'm out of the Newtonics also. I uh, just don't like the way it's trading. I got into this one yesterday at uh, 26.20. I did sell some. Looked good in the pre-market. I thought, okay, now we're on our way and just gave it up. So I'm out of that one right now. And that, I think that is, it. oh, I'm still in. It's not doing anything yet. Still in this one. Bought it at 120 yesterday. If it gives up a dollar, uh, I will get out. But I'm, I'm, excuse me, I'm continuing to hold that one. Um, just a word here, you know, I just want to point out what can happen. You know, if you've in been in the room for a while, you know that Dan Merkin, our CEO, has come in and talked about this one that he was in. And, and you know, it was, it was, you know, I say it was a great trade. Holly alerted it right here. I think he got in right here. And I, I think he's probably sold some, um, you know, as it went up. But the last thing he did say to us is that he was, uh, you know, he would sell at $5. Well, unfortunately, uh, disaster strikes and uh, they had bad news on their drug, uh, failed. And as he said in the room, you know, I, I had a manageable risk, even if it went to zero, it wasn't going to kill him. So anyway, but that is what can happen. Kind of one, one reason why I decided to get rid of the Sorrento also. I don't like holding these uh, for two reasons. I don't like holding these bios for that long because you never know when they're, especially when they're small, but even when they're big, you never know when they're going to spring a financing. Um, you know, these, these, these bios are usually desperate for, for cash. And if they, if the stock price goes up, you know, you can almost rest assured that they're going to do some kind of a financing so they can uh, fill their coffers. So that is a, that can be a problem. And then of course, at any time they can release bad drug news and that's, that's what can happen. So let's see. Now let's take a look at some of the ones that, um, uh, glue came from the momentum scanner worked. Okay. You know, saw it in the pre-market. Um, 
Got into this trade at uh, 408, right about here. Right about here. And got all the way up to uh, 429. I uh, sold. I sold on the way up at 420 and on the way down at uh, 419. And now it looks like it's trying to come back a little bit. Um, if it, it, you know what, if this closes, closes near the high, I may add back to my position because it has a nice looking daily. You know, I don't think, I can't, uh, I'm not sure where there's any resistance. One day we'll have a weekly chart. I won't have to keep doing this. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I don't, yeah, there, I, I don't see there's a lot of resistance. Here we go. So we're at 427 now. So you look over here, 444, and that is, uh, that's about two years ago. So, I mean, that could stop it. So I don't know. I mean, it'll, it remains to be seen if I'm going to add back and, and hold it. There we go. Let me get this here. Now, the, the one that was uh, definitely exciting, um, a very, very quick trade. This is one that did a reverse split not too long ago. You can see, now uh, this is the daily chart, but <laughs> the exciting part, of course, is the 15 minute. Came on the scan, the momentum scan, all right? Got into this one at 228. A little bit late. And boom, I mean, it got all the way to 269. Now, remember now, this is this is really, really quick. I think I was in and out of this trade in, you know, less certainly less than 10 minutes. Uh, 228, I sold some at 253, uh, 251, and on the way down at 240. And, you know, after that, it's it's nothing. But look, the, the fact that is it had 2 million, uh, right now at 2 million shares of trade. So it's not like they're very, very thin. You can buy, you know, a certain amount, you know, probably a comfortable amount. You, you know that you're going to be able to usually get in and out. I'm not suggesting these are very, very, very fast, quick and risky trades. Um, but at least it did, you know, does have the liquidity. And, you know, these are the ones that we're, I'm kind of concentrating on right now until the well runs dry. And uh, today was sort of a day in which, you know, perhaps it's they're, they're starting to, you know, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, this momentum scanner has been so good, but what, what has been happening in the past is that something like this would have this candle and then another one and, another, and then it might give up. So the trend is not quite as strong today, but you know, who knows what happens tomorrow. Um, I did take a Holly. Oh man, I uh, I missed one Holly trade. Just a fantastic Holly trade. Holly was uh, kind of quiet today. I missed this one while I was, you know, uh, all over the iPhone and the glue iPhone, <laughs> the I F O N and the glue trades. Look at the alert here, 10:25, and it got all the way up to 12:31. Uh, hit the profit target of a dollar from from the alert. Fallen back now, but boy, that was just a, a really, really good holly trade. Um, the one I did take turned out too well. I mean, it was okay, a little more risky uh, because it was so, so spready. And the alert was at 2309, very, very spready. I was able to get some at, um, what was the price, 2326. And I basically sold, and it got up here, but again, the, the spread. It, it's not like I could have sold it at 23.67. On its way down, I sold some at 23.38, and then basically flat it at 23.26. So um, this is a, a recent IPO, and so, you know, it may have some strength in it even tomorrow. There was the IPO, uh, and it had a nice little rise, consolidation, and then a beautiful rise. You know, some, some little drops along the way. Now it's starting to come back, but who knows? Maybe this is the start of its, uh, you know, coming back. So I would watch this one tomorrow. And uh, let's see. That, you know what? That's about it. Want to get back into? Oh, I know. Here's here's another one that, you know, again worked out well. But you've really, really got to be quick. This is Amp. And <laughs> that's amazing. You know, the pop and then the drop on it. Got into this one at 112. I was watching this one for quite a while. Got into this one at 112. And right there. And then look what it did. I mean, it got all the way to 134. I mean, that's a tremendous uh, percentage increase. And I sold on the way up at 131. 
Oh, I almost got out the high, but 131 right here. And then as it was coming right back down, I got out at 122. So it was a very, very quick trade, but uh, another one that's very profitable. And again, it's traded 3.7 million. So it's not like, you know, these are very thin, thin traded, uh, thinly traded stocks that you cannot get in and out. But you do have to be careful. You cannot, you know, you can't, you can't walk away from your computer, say, oh, well, I'll get in here and I'll come back half an hour to see what's happened. Not with these ones, all right? These are low float. Actually, this one's 66 million in the float, so it's not a super low floater, but you know, they're, they're just very speculative. Anyway, that is it. I want to get back into the room. And let me just bring back the capture, the, the program here. So again, if you have any questions for me, just uh, this is the email address you can use and you can join our room. And just all we, what happens is when you, excuse me when you copy and paste that link into your browser and click on it you'll be sent to a form page you'll we'll ask for your email and then we'll send you back an email in which you create your password and that's it we only do it one time you can come into the room we don't ask for a credit card or anything you um, you come into the room and you can be a guest you don't have to be a member of trade ideas there's no length there's no time limit not like a week and then you have to take the program um, we, you know, the reason why we do this is that we really want to highlight our, our program. And of course you see me work, you see me using the program all day long. And of course, uh, our other members who are in the room who are posting ideas, they're using the program too. So, all right. And then if you want to take out a, a subscription, there is the link you can use. I'll open the room tomorrow at uh, nine o'clock. Start to share my screen then, <clears throat> excuse me, get live on the mic at 9.05. And don't forget about the test drive. You'll see the link in this email. All right, thanks for listening and uh, have a great evening. We'll see you in the trading room tomorrow.